<laughs> it lives in a pineapple under the sea. Me! And today we're gonna be opening a thousand tropical crates. And if you're a SpongeBob fan, like the video. Watch me a lot. Now, anyways, today we're gonna be going for the 0.3% chance volcanic titan. I think that's his name. I'm not entirely sure. And this is actually interesting because he's the very first 0.3% chance unit we've done, which I think makes him about 1 in 700. So we should get at least one, one in like one third. <laughs> so if somebody notices a third of a unit, please let me know. I, I might miss it. So anyways, let's just get into it. <laughs> This crate is a very interesting one in the long line of interesting crates that we have gotten lately. Like, oh, are we? Oh? Oh? <laughs> Look at that T-Poos. I am the one, the one. <laughs> I think I said T-Poos instead of T-Pose, but you get the idea, T-Pose. He was doing the, I am the one, the one. I don't know. Cringe, cringe, brain rot. But we got one. And that's all that matters. Mr. Vlad, I'm going to call him. Well, I guess we're going to get nothing out of the rest of these crates. So, <laughs> as I was going to say, Delanthric and I'm Evan and the other developer that they just added has been adding in a lot of weird crates lately with just the weirdest themes. Like, there's nothing wrong about this crate. I know a lot of people are going to ask, like, Barry, are you a fan of the crate? And I, I am. I do like the crate. I like it visually, and I like some of the units in it. But I am curious why is it the tropical crate that is clearly styled as a pineapple not having the pineapple unit be the best unit in the crate like it's super weird to me i don't know if there's a lot of examples but to me the biggest two that stand out is just the two latest ones like I, I don't know why they do it like for this one you have all these other units the pineapple speaker man the seagull and the torch I didn't know Torch is tropical. I, I, I don't get that. The only tropical thing about it is a dude named Torch in Hawaii. Like, I don't know exactly <laughs> what's tropical about Torch. But hey, I mean, I'm an open-minded individual. If someone knows, please let me know. But how is Volcano the best one in the pineapple crate? <laughs> like, it's just, I don't, I don't know. I don't get it. I have no clue. And then the same thing with the food crate. We have, I think, ice cream, hot dog, cheeseburger, man, a hamburger man. And then we got the cactus guy. Like, why? Why, why do we have cactus guy? <laughs> By the way, if you're watching this video at this point, comment down below your favorite crate and why. I want to know why. I want details. Whether it's visually, whether it's like, oh, I like the boost crate because DJ's in there. Comment it below. I just want to know. I like these videos being conversations and i always read them a lot of people don't know that but i do i read all the comments every single one which is why i know that a lot of you guys have been having notification issues but anyways to, to get into it if you comment that stuff below then you'll be entered to win four of the best unit in this <laughs> this crate so the titan volcanic man i think he is called and they'll all be signed i haven't signed any of them before so you'll have like the only four with my signature well four people have one of each of my signature. You get the idea. You know what I'm saying. <laughs> but the notification thing, I've, I've noticed, I've gotten a lot of comments lately of people saying, Barry, I'm sorry I'm so late. You know, Barry, YouTube only sent me this video now. So make sure that, uh, Dinosaur, the second coming of Meteor, I am the one, the only one, the one that likes the chicken nuggets on the street. I don't know. Um, so we got two, that's good. But as I was saying, uh, if you are subbed to the channel and you haven't been getting like videos, I upload every day and it's always at like the same time roughly, it might be 20 minutes late, but it's always at 6 p.m. EST. And so if you're not getting the notifications, then make sure you have the, the bell turned on because otherwise YouTube just sends you it when they want. And we got another one. Look at him. I am the one. I am the late, the only late, the dinosaur that, that pees on the street. I don't know what else. <laughs> yeah, just make sure the sub bell thingy is on i never ask people to turn it on but if, if you're actually having issues with it that's just because you don't have the notifications on youtube has a set in where they'll send it to you whenever they feel like you want to see something so i could upload a video and they'll be like hey he kind of wants to see this today a week later <laughs> and that obviously is not great if you want to keep up with stuff so just thought i'd mention it for the people unaware it took me a long time to mention it just because this freaking crates keep giving me good stuff i was not even expecting 
all of this. If it truly is a 1 in a 700 chance to get, I'm doing pretty good. I still, have, I still got a lot of crates. I'm pretty happy about this so far. I don't know if other YouTubers are going to do this. A lot of them seem to do crate openings now. But I'm curious. Maybe I'll I'll be in the running for like the most summoned. That's worth something. I mean, I'm, I'm not going to like brag about it, but... Well, you know, I'll brag about it every once in a while. Most days, really. I deserve that, okay? This is complete luck. The luck of these crates is in the hands of RNGesus. You know, I need... <laughs> I need to capitalize on my glorious victory because it quite literally is cosmic odds that I am beating. I am beating the universe itself. I am the, the universe itself. The real reason why the dinosaurs went extinct, they knew too much. <laughs> I'm next. Somebody help me. Now nah, I'm going to be okay. This dinosaur has got uh, soap. He can just wash away the meteor, the meteor <laughs> radiation. You know what's crazy? A lot of people don't know this, and you're about to get a little bit of a, a science thing, but stand with me. Okay, I know it gets a little boring sometimes, but stand with me. Did you know that we wouldn't exist if the dinosaurs didn't die? Because what happened was the meteor fell into the earth, into a specific spot, which was hard enough and big enough to kill all the dinosaurs, which led to sea life thriving. And because sea life thrived, and the other small animals on the the earth were able to thrive because the dinosaurs were eating them all we were able to like become a thing we we came out of the sea i think or we branched from like a, a mammal of sorts but yeah it's just really cool to think about it's so sad that we lost the dinosaurs but with loss comes you know game so i mean i think that's a fair trade-off don't you think i mean it's a little sad that woolly mammoth had to go as well but i think he was gone way after the dinosaurs i don't know whose fault that is. is that climate change is that us i don't know i don't take responsibility for for woolly being gone uh, oh oh it's just one big big laboyski i am the one the only one the one the one the one the one, the one. here's the one how many do we got so far four of them jeebus and how many crates do we have left okay that's a lot of crates that's still at least like 400 crates left. So far though, so good. We're definitely doing good. I'm gonna place my bet maybe like five. I, don't, I think we're gonna get one more. We've had so much luck, <laughs> like so early. Usually it's, it falls off a little bit. We got two torches in that one. That was not too bad. Yeah, dinosaurs always fascinated me, especially because the ones in the ocean. Because the meteor might have affected the Earth dinosaurs, but it didn't affect the the ones in the ocean. It just affected the ones in the air. Maybe. Kind of. Mostly. But, I mean, they could still eat from the sea, technically. But they didn't really have anywhere to lay. This wasn't the Earth, like, covered in dust for, like, months before it cleared or something like that. I don't know. The dinosaur situation is such a fascinating thing. I love it. I'm such a nerd. A nerd that probably got half of what I said earlier wrong, but hey, don't at me if I'm wrong. If you know more about the dinosaurs, though, please tell me. I know a lot of you guys are at school still, so I'm just curious. Anyone else learning about that? I learned about it, and I was so fascinated when they told me that a T-Rex wasn't actually that big. A lot of people think it's the size of, you know, twin houses stacked on top of each other. You know, it's the mini Eiffel Tower big dinosaur boy rolling around he was not he was probably actually like if these guys were humans these little pineapple guys on the floor once i get them summoned in like these it was probably like if humans were about this big i was that big like the, the dinosaur really was not that much more massive compared uh, like i think they were like 17 feet tall or something like that i can't believe it we got another colony we got another colony. And I can only surmise it's because my dinosaur powers. Dinosaur energy is channeling. I am doing bueno. Very bueno. Very, very good. I'm feeling it. Okay, I didn't feel it. I was not feeling it, Mr. Krabs. I'm gonna be honest. I'm gonna be honest, I was not feeling it. It, it, oh, 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 oh,
What is this? I was so feeling it that time. It was really looking promising. Oh my god, we only have a few crates left. Well, we blasted through those. All right, let's open 10 more. And then let's open them one at a time. Just because I like doing that to build suspense. Because it's always fascinating. And somebody also messaged me in DM saying that they like seeing me open one at a time. Because my luck sucks. That's basically what they said. And to you watching this video right now, I disagree. Okay? Is some of my best luck. I actually have pulled good things in the final, like, draw. I've gotten a hyper, and I think I even got an engineer in one of my last openings. So you never know. Don't count a berry out. Just because we don't have many crates left doesn't mean anything, okay? It means nothing at all. Okay, maybe it means a little something, but it doesn't mean I'm a bad person. Nobody was even questioning if I'm a bad person, but it doesn't mean it so. If you see anybody comment in the comments below saying, Barry, you're a bad man, eat them. Eat them for me. Leave no witnesses. I just realized he's holding a pineapple. Probably should have noticed that sooner. He's he's having it around his back like a little weapon. Like, oh, look at me. I'm going to turn you into pineapple juice. Do it, bro. Ooh, I love this guy so much. He's so cool looking. Look at his colors. He looks like a gaming chair. <laughs> just looks nice. Come on, give me something good. That's not something good. That seagull unit, by the way, was completely broken. I thought about doing a video about it, but I I threw it on the back burner because there's so many things in this game to talk about. I've actually thought about uploading twice a day, but I think that would be a little too much for me to do most of the days. Like right now, I just have so many videos I have to upload. But beyond this, I mean, I don't really have a whole lot of ideas that would be enough to do two videos a day unless i start playing other games like do a toy title events video a day and then another game a day i don't know that's possible but that's a bunch of duty right there pineapple speak man so we're on for our last one so far the tally is five which is pretty dang good at least i think so i could be completely wrong but i think that that's a good number what are we gonna get Mike Wazowski. But yeah, that's all I have for you today. The tally is five volcanic titans that we did. And, you know, I'm pretty proud of that. Let me know if I, like, beat anyone else in their openings, if you watch anyone else. I know a lot of you guys watch Talanthric. I know he doesn't open the crates, but I do have a video, and I'm asking at the end of this video, should I upload a video uh, of his outtakes? Because he basically did this YouTube challenge, and I was a part of it, and I recorded myself. So, should I just upload it raw or should I edit it a little bit so that you can see it? Because I like the idea of it being raw so you can see him mess up because Talanthric messed up a lot in the video. But anyways, just let me know if that would be an interesting thing to upload. Um, and yeah, if you made it to the end, comment down below hashtag pink and you'll be entered to win an engineer, a signed engineer. And I probably hit a chef somewhere early in this video. So you, you should probably go back and look for that. But yeah, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you all next time. Bye guys.